The Colonials are red hot and on a tear. Coming into Sheltonham on Tuesday, the Colonials faced an opponent they had a spotty history against after a demoralizing loss the last time they played. The game started with the Colonials getting an early run and then the game shifted towards being a defensive bout. The Colonials tacked on a couple runs to build on a 6-0 lead and then in the fifth, the Colonial bats erupted as they plated nine runs. Joey Rauscher pitched a no-hitter to cap off a brilliant 17-0 victory. Joe Capriotti has been trying to find his hitting groove, and after three hits during the game, he thinks himself and the Colonials are starting to take shape. So today was one of my first showing out games. I felt good. I worked on my swing. I had a slow start. Feeling a lot better now at the plate. You know, worked on a little bit. Our offense has been stellar lately. We've really been cashing on clutch scoring positions. All of our guys are hitting balls. Big part of the field. Big hits come from everyone, top through bottom. Hildebrand with a great hit today. Dom with another great hitting performance. All of us really hitting the ball now. Along with our offense, our, our defense and pitching is doing real good. Um, past, past week, we've had one perfect game, one no hitter. My lights out, two starters, Rauscher and Yanishek. The Colonials were rolling on all cylinders heading into Thursday's matchup against New Hope Salisbury. Tom Yanishek was flying high coming off his perfect game against Abington, but struggled to locate in the first inning. P-Dub faced their largest deficit of the season, trailing 3-0 after just the first inning. Colonials were able to get one run back in the first, but weren't able to capitalize. After a rough first inning, the Colonials were able to rally and take the lead in the second. After the shaky first inning, Janicek was able to come back and toss four scoreless frames. The Colonials' entire lineup was able to click as they put up 13 runs across five innings and have now scored in 14 consecutive innings. So I'm back from injury. Uh, the best part is just being out on the field with the rest of my team. Um, it, it sucked watching from the bench, so that's really the best part, just being out there with the rest of the team. Um, once I got my timing back, uh, I think I'm back where I left off, ready to tear it up for the rest of the season. So that first hit, it uh, really got me back into the swing of things. And uh, I think it was a step in the, the right direction for me and the team. So we'll be back to get him next game. So we started off a little bit rough, but uh, I think Joe Jakonski 
was a big leader for us and really just put a fire under us and we had more intensity coming back for the second half of the game uh, which is why we uh, ended the game up 10. On Saturday, the producers challenged Ben Picker and Joe Jakonski to a match on the links at the historic 1912 Country Club. The day was highlighted by great weather and excellent play by the pairing of Jakonski and Svita. White and Picker were no match as their horrible ball striking and terrible luck ended up making them lose every hole in this 2v2 scramble. It still was a nice change of scenery and a switch from the baseball bat to the golf club for these baseball players.